Welcome back to CTV Morning. There are a ton of events that we're starting to see uh, come up and getting planned and uh, heading back to our community. And there's uh, another event. It wasn't here last year, but we're set heading into the second year for it. It's the Hockey Helps the Homeless. Uh, and joining us as uh, part of their development committee is uh, Michael Gocklin, uh, Coughlin. Great to have you on the show. Thank you. And a lot of people are very familiar with Lori Boschman, who's one of our very popular Ottawa Senators alumni. Great to have you on the show. Thank we'll you. start with you. The event happening uh, April the 20th. Yes. Uh, so give us a quick rundown of what people uh, can expect and if they're looking to take part or yep, be part of Yeah, for sure. Hockey Helps the Homeless is a very unique uh, one-day hockey tournament that gives men and women the chance to play alongside former NHL players such as Lori and current CWHL stars, um, all, all in an effort to raise money for local homeless out outreach organizations. So how will the day essentially work? The day runs uh, 8.30 to 4.30. Every player gets three games alongside stars, again, such as Lori. We have uh, Sean Van Allen participating. Uh, John Shabbat, and on the women's side, we have Olympians such as Caroline Ouellette, Catherine Ward, and Julie Chu. So every uh, every player gets three games, yeah. and again, all money raised is going to local organizations such as Inner City Ministries, uh, the Ottawa Mission, and Daybreak Housing here we're, in Ottawa. We're going to get to the numbers and the statistics of what we're seeing here in Ottawa, but for you, Lori, this is something uh, you're very passionate about. You take part in a lot of community events, mm -hmm. and this was something you immediately said, I want to be a part of this. Yeah, when uh, Gary Scullion had asked me a, a few years ago to be a part of it, uh, Leanne, I was involved with the uh, Hockey Helps the Homeless in Toronto. Uh, I helped out here a couple of years ago, and uh, there's a number of us uh, from the SENS alumni that are going to participate again this year, and we think it's a, a terrific initiative because, uh, as uh, Michael will talk about, uh, just uh, some, of the, uh, some of the numbers for the homelessness and stuff in, in our community, and if we can do uh, anything to help out uh, by participating in a hockey tournament and getting some people to uh, uh, to put in a team or something like that, then we're all all about that, and uh, we feel like we're uh, helping out in a very small way. So, uh, so it's really nice to to be a part of that. You get to be on the ice. People get to say that they've played with you and against you, which is a, which is a ton of fun. And then there's the reality of the numbers. I was really surprised. You were saying seven thousand, at least almost registered or reported cases right yeah, now and, and then there's a lot that go unreported. You no, know, it's a huge huge problem in Ottawa and uh, our event gives people a very interesting way to give back anyone even if you don't like hockey um, all you have to do is go to hockeyhelpsthehomeless.com uh, we're looking for volunteers, sponsors and players and all of the money again goes back to help those 7,000 in Ottawa. What have you heard from the, because uh, you have three different departments, right, that you pretty much are reaching out to. What has their response been in terms of how much this money is needed and where it goes? It's, it's huge. It's, there's a huge need and all three of our partners, again, Ottawa Inner City Ministries, uh, the Ottawa Mission and Daybreak Housing, I know we, we have representatives from them on our committee, and I know that the money all goes to fantastic reintegration programs. So, Lori, do you, do, you, do you kind of stretch out a little bit? Do you hear the bones cracking? I mean, <laughs> no. Because for you, the, your physical activity is the days when you lace up back up the skates. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a lot of that stretching and all that stuff, Leanne, because, you know, as you get a little bit older, the body isn't uh, quite as limber as it used to. But, no, the, the thing is, it's, it's great to get on the ice. It's great to meet new people. It's great to meet uh, some people who want to support something like this, and and of course it's always fun to to play hockey and uh, you know to get a little exercise and uh, you know gets the competitive juices going I, for some of us guys again. Leanne. Your yeah. juices too, but I think for the people that are having fun with this, you know, to be able to say, hey, I outskated him, yeah. or uh, <laughs> you know, got a nice little check. It's a, it's a ton of fun, and you it's, must hear that from the it's people great. participating. It never happens, Leanne, but it's great. You can't escape <laughs> that glory for sure. No, it's great. Though. All right, well, it's it's great to see that this event is back. Uh, you mm -hmm. can check out the uh, the website hockeyhelpslahomeless.com for more information. Of course, you have right through until uh, right before the event happening on the 20th of April so yep. you have some time to get involved and also you're looking for corporate sponsorship which is key get your teams involved get your business involved great team building I would think too Excellent. right get a couple guys from the office Excellent to head day. down yeah get your skate sharpens all right Lori? that's right yeah get yours done uh, we're gonna take a short commercial break uh, we still have plenty more to come here on CTV morning live we're looking at uh, top of the hour so your eight o'clock news headlines coming away we were talking about this uh, drug shortage and cancellation of some elective surgeries the details coming away after this.